brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It wasn't suicide. The fracture is not consistent with that. Though it looked like a gunshot wound just above her right eye, she wasn't shot. Number one, I did not find any bullet. Number two, I did not uh, find any markings that uh, tells me that it's a gunshot. Nor has she fallen and hit her head. I look around and there was no, no evidence that uh, he, she fell. Looked around where? Around the, I, I inspected all the, the area. The area of her apartment? Yeah, the, around the bed and the, uh, the bat, bathroom. One by one, the government's expert witness, Guam's chief medical examiner, Dr. Aurelio Espinola, ruled out the possibilities before deciding 55-year-old Shelley Bernstein's cause and manner of death. In my opinion, the decedent, Kelly John Bernstein, came to her death as a result of laceration due to blunt trauma to the, to the forehead with a skull fracture from a home site. Bernstein was found dead in her Timuning apartment four years ago. Using photos taken from the autopsy, he explained the injuries she sustained. The court asked members of the press not to publish the graphic exhibits as a courtesy to the victim. Bernstein's son, Alan Agababa, stands accused of killing his mother to cash in on her death benefits as a flight attendant. As stated in opening statements, defense is anticipated to revive testimony from their past expert witness, forensic pathologist Dr. Dr. Joseph Cohen, who will challenge Dr. Espinola's findings. Dr. Cohen's testimony won't be live, but rather a replay from Agababa's initial trial three years ago. Jurors in that trial failed to reach a unanimous decision, rendering a mistrial. The government will continue its case in chief on Thursday. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.